It's only been one week since Sonic Superstars has been announced, and with only a couple of months away from releasing, there are many people out there that doesn't know a single thing about the game other than the fact that it's been announced. So today, I wanted to share you guys and gals some info about Sonic Superstars and the dates that have been announced and confirmed. So without further ado, let's talk about it. What's good, YT? It's your boy SD, and today we are talking about Sonic Superstars and everything we know about it so far. But before we get started, I would like to give a huge thanks and a big shout out to Rosie for allowing me to use their Mark OSTs of Sonic Superstars. They make amazing music, including the one that you are listening to right now. So if you want to hear more, be sure to check them out. Link is in the description, and uh, yeah. Let's get it. So starting off with the basics, Sonic Superstars is the newest title in the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise, where it puts classic 2D Sonic in a 3D environment. You can play as Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and the newest addition to the cast, Amy Rose, which I am excited for because Amy finally feels like she's a part of the team now, rather than feeling like she's a side character. The enemies are Eggman, Fang the Sniper, which I am happy to see Fang in another game, and a new interesting character, which we will talk about later in this video. The game can be played through either single player or four player local co-op. There won't be any online co-op so RP for that, but there will be an online battle mode. I assume it will be like the race mode like in Sonic the Hedgehog 2 where the first one to make it to the goal wins, but hey, we would just have to wait until someone shows gameplay or just wait till the game comes out to actually experience it. So with that being said, let's get into the good stuff. Starting with the best news of all, there are no returning zones coming to this game. There is no green hill and no chemical plant zone in sight. And this is the best news I've heard for a Sonic game in a while. I can't even remember the last Sonic game that didn't have a green hill zone. And yes, yeah, some of you might say Sonic Frontiers, but those cyberspace levels might say otherwise. I'm not sure if these levels are specifically green hill, but it still makes me skeptical. Okay, now let's talk about the creators. Sonic Superstars is developed by Sonic Team as well as Naoto Oshima and his company Arzes, which worked on games such as Hey Pikmin for the 3DS, Yoshi's New Island for the 3DS, and Ballin Wonderland. Naoto Oshima was the one who designed Class of Sonic as well as Eggman, and he worked on some of Sonic's earlier games such as Sonic CD, Sonic 3D Blast, and even Sonic Adventure. He also made Blinks. I'm just putting that out there because Blinks 1 and 2 are amazing so overall i would say that sonic superstars is in really good hands it's kind of sad that christian whitehead isn't a part of the game's creation you know considering how well sonic mania did but hey it is what it is now let's talk about the music so far we don't know what the music for sonic superstars will sound like but at least we know the composers who made it jun Sinoe. Sorry if I butchered that. And Sonic Minions T. Lopez both play a part in Sonic Superstars music production and wow. Just wow. I am so excited to hear this. Like y'all just don't understand how good this music about to be. But then again, Sonic music is always good. But I digress. Damn, I'm using big words now. Who am I? Okay, now that we got the big topics out the way, it's time for the extra sh**. The biggest question a lot of people have about this game is, does it play well? And according to everyone who got their hands on the game, it plays really well. So well, in fact, that many have noticed that Sonic Superstars plays exactly like the original games. And this is a plus for people who play the original games, so there shouldn't be any worries about gameplay as far as I know. Now, next up is the new title screen and intro animation this title screen looks so good like i'm not sure if it's nostalgia but these type of titles always look pleasing to the eye the intro animation also looks really amazing like i'm not sure if it was made by the same people who did the origins plus animation but regardless it looks really good i love how it showcases new abilities as well now it's time for the new stuff which really isn't a lot but i'm so glad we got it remember that new character i talked about earlier but well, we officially have a name of the new character, and his name is Trip. Which is funny because a lot of the time the character falls down and trips. However, we don't know what type of animal Trip is. Some people are speculating that Trip might be a raccoon or some sort of lizard or armadillo because of the tail, but these are just speculations. I'm not sure what type of animal Trip is, but 
At the end of the day, I'm glad we got a new Sonic character. People are also speculating that a character is missing on the title screen, which would make sense because sometimes Tails will look to his left, indicating that something or someone is there. And I believe that this missing person might actually be Trip. Like we don't know Trip's politicians other than working with Fang and Eggman, but they don't seem to be a bad person. Then again, we just have to wait and see. <laughs> so last but not least, we have some new info about the game that I am very excited for. So turns out, each character you play has a different intro and a different ending towards the game. Now, this is something that I've been wanting for a Sonic game in a while. And things like this honestly make me happy to be a Sonic fan. I wonder if there will be different levels depending on the character you play, but I don't know, that probably won't happen. <laughs> They did say certain situations happen depending on the character you play, so I assume there will be like different cutscenes for each character. And for that reason alone, I'm going to be heavily invested in this game. And I guess that's it. This is all we know about Sonic Superstar so far, and I can't wait to get my hands on the game when it officially comes out. I'm going to be putting my time and dedication to this game, so if you're down for that, support your boy. But yo. I'm out. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.